Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Gerbil, and in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the new Bosch Leia Hut Cartel Omicron Datacron, excuse me, conundrum, and what I'm expecting people to quickly coin toxic Bosch Leia. Let's get me out of the way here. So this right here is um, an excerpt of a video whereby my Ray. likely would have timed out. Um, in, in the Bosch Leia Omicron, uh, there's, a, there's a scenario where every time an, uh, a thermal detonator expires on, on your team, or on the enemy rather, the Hut Cartel gains 5% turn meter. And because the cooldowns and all the, uh, the cooldown on Bosch Leia is reduced, right here it is, uh, it says whenever an enemy takes damage from a thermal detonator, expiring hut cartel allies recover 5% health protection again 5% turn meter. Uh, and there's 50% chance that the enemy is inflicted with another one. This this just creates a turn meter loop that if the hut cartel get going, um, they, 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 they basically, you, you will not get another turn. See, I'm in a situation here where Ray is in damage immunity, Ben Solo's in damage immunity, and there's nothing I can do. Um, I actually exited this battle on Jabba's fourth ultimate. I was just like, this is just dumb. So, fourth ultimate. So, I, I left. I, I gave up on that one. I was like, okay, fine. I'm, I'm not particularly sure if if Ray was a good, you know, counter anyway. That's not my forte. So, I went in here with uh, Slicker and um, don't really have any good data crons. That's okay. So uh, we go in with Slicker and I get I get the stun on Chrysanthemum. I get some AoEs and I'm, I'm kind of happy with where I am at the moment, right? We can see right here, nice good hit. Um, let's hit play, wax, 106,000. We're, we're, we're doing what Slicker needs to do. I expect to lose everybody and potentially clear. This is before I realized what was happening. And then before I know it, um, despite doing good damage, um, Bosch takes a turn. <laughs> and once she got a turn, it, it just becomes game over. Because Chrysanthemum dropped below 50%, went into damage immunity. Bosch throws out all those bombs, blows everyone up. And when all the bombs blow up, the huts are all at a full health and protection and full tena uh, turn meter. And it's just game over. Like, there's nothing nothing that could do so i got a little desperate and i stumbled onto jawa and i am not i'm not exaggerating jawas have they're, they're not going to beat jabba the hut but they're going to enable a two-shot situation uh with pretty i need to turn that feature off how do i even do that two fingers two hands mm, i don't know there it is yeah yep yeah. Um, they, they, so here's the way this works. Um, at the start of the battle, Jawas gain 100% bonus protection, so they have some durability. All enemies are inflicted with Provoke for two turns. When an enemy takes damage from a thermal detonator, and they will, Jawa allies recover 5% health and protection gain 5% turn meter. Sound familiar? This is like a Bosch mirror right Bosch datacron mirror and then whereas she has a 50 percent the job was have a 80 percent chance to inflict the enemies with a thermal detonator can't be dispelled prevented or resisted um also uh let's see where is it right here um at the level nine Jawa scavenger always critically hits so what first time he's defeated he's revived that's good and then whenever an enemy is inflicted with thermal detonators, Java allies gain 10% defense stacking, which makes them survive. And since they're all all the enemies are getting, you know, compiled with, with thermal detonators, um, they start to gain like insane defense. Now they're gonna die, but you see, look at the board right now. We we are five seconds into this match. We are five seconds in. And Skiffguard has 23 bombs, Jabba has 22, Bosch has 20. And my team, I got four. This is remarkable how this pans out. Um, 
they're starting to stack up on me now, but 38 on Embo, 36 on Skiff, 44 on Leia. And so what happens is when those when those detonators actually start to go boom, the jaw was heal up, they, they, they gain turn meter two. Um, so everybody's got full turn meter, like, hey, you get turn meter, and you get turn meter, and you get turn meter. And I'm still experimenting with this to find the right way to do it. But see that Leia threw out her bomb, and, and four of my five jaw was, they're like, yep, yeah, we're still here. Uh, she's got 140, 156 on her. When Scavenger gets a turn, oh, look, he didn't even get a turn. I didn't even need a turn. We just blew up Leia. And now we are in two shot territory, no matter what, because Bosch Leia is out of the picture. So her her level nine is gone. So I did six battles yesterday with this. And of those six battles, five of them, I managed to blow up Leia. Here we are again. And just for reference, my Jawas are all relic five. One of them is relic six. And I did test this against solid relic eight and some mixed relic five, six, seven, eight teams. So um, I also found that this tends to work better against squads with Imbo. Boba Fett, he does his little aerial assault. And if he applies the dam, uh, the ability block on your team, then it's possible that your scavenger doesn't get to go. <laughs> and blow up all the bombs at once, which is kind of fun to do. Um, Embo doesn't do that, of course. So there we are, big hit, and we throw it. Is, that the, is this the same video? That looks like the same video. Um, did I play the same one twice? Oh, no, one's an excerpt, sorry. Ah. Gerbil, 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 pay attention, bro. Pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, here's another one. So this one, yep, this is another one. We got the same thing happening. We're both going back and forth, building up bombs on each other. Um, mine have started to go off. You see Leia there, she's at like 60% health. Boba Fett's like hunched over pretty bad there in damage immunity, so he fell below half. And then all my Jawas are still sitting here nice and strong with about 30 Bombas on each of them. Um, and I'm just sitting here going, what do I do next? What do I do? Well, we basic. Uh, she blew up a whole bunch of them. We're still alive. And any second now, we're going to get our turn. Oh, look at that. Leia just died. Scavenger died, but he came right back. Thank you, Datacron. So now it's a 3v2. And the question is, like, can we get rid of... No, we're not going to. But we are totally in cleanup territory. All right, here's the next battle. Um, here we go. Thermal Detonator Mirror Match. By the way, also, most of this is done with crappy mods. Most of it is. I did experiment with some remodding to see like what happens if I put on like GL level mods and just some better tier mods. I found out it doesn't make that big a difference actually. Um, the basic slow Java ultra high protection modding seems to work out quite effectively. Look at that. Leia's got 68, 73 on Embo that's already started to blow up. Here we go. We're going to give everyone some turn meter or do we heal? I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know what the right one to do is. I think I'll go ahead and heal though. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm, I'm debating. I'm debating. I'm looking at Bosch's con contract and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I don't remember what all this does. Look at the turn order. Decisions, decisions, right? Let's fast forward. What do we end up doing? Oh, uh, looks like we gave everyone turn meter. Okay, and here we go. Three, two, one. Big Boomba! Right there. Now it's a 5v2, right? So, <laughs> they're gonna die, but they did their job. I love that. Let's back that up. Right right here, right here. Can we see that again? Right here. And three, two, one. Boom! In fact, there's so much damage, the iPhone couldn't even display it, right? They're just there, and then they're not. I love that. That's so great. That's so great. Um, and then here we go. I will show one where we lose and this is the risky thing. This does get risky. So um, here we go. Which one is this? I, I don't remember which squad this is again. Oh, this is a relic eight looks like almost all relic eight. So we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good building up. You, you, can, you don't even get to take a turn for like the first 45 seconds of it. The, the, the cuts just do their thing. And eventually many of them succumb to the to themselves, right? Boba just blew up once and Leia just blew up. <laughs> it's like what? It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Now here's what happens though when you know things do go wrong. 
Um, so we'll just go through. All right, so I'm debating, I'm debating, I'm thinking, and right there. So this is the risky part of doing this in like Territory Wars, because in Territory, you, you don't want to preload turn meter, right? You want to back out, so make sure you're in airplane mode if you do this, folks, because this is what's going to happen right here. Sometimes they just all fall down. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get enough thermal detonators. If I had had enough of my own explode, that stacking offense would have made it so that they could survive just like this, because normally... Here you go, Leia. Do your little AOE Boomba here. Right here, 3, 2, 1. Boom! See, it even stuttered the phone. iPhone 14 couldn't handle the math. Actually, it can. It's just bad programming on the game's part. But see here, she's blowing up everybody. Uh, 37, 25, 25, 23, 22. And then, boom! Right? 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. That's all that's left. So, and look... Almost full health and protection on th four of them. Four of them. This is fun. Fun stuff. So yeah, make sure you're in airplane mode. But folks, if you've got Relic Jawas, if you get the Jawacron, man, this is going to be an annoying, annoying team to get through if you put it in Territory War Defense, especially if you have the Jawa Omicron, J uh, Chief Nebit, I think it is. I don't remember which one it is, but holy cow, that's going to make... I, I, I just don't even want to think about it. But... If you have them also and you want to test this in your arena, likely, you know, Bosch, Leia, Datacron is going to be all you're going to see in the top arena. It's like the top 30 now in my in my shard. Get in there, test it, have a little fun with it. And then, you know, if you're getting similar experience out of it and your, your guild is struggling to get through this new toxic Bosch Leia team, then uh, try some Jawa one-two punch, right? Jaw with them, and then maybe I send in Imperial Troopers and cleaned up afterwards. So it totally worked. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe down below. Please, I would appreciate it, and it does mean a lot to me. And it's a free, simple, easy way for you to support the channel. Um, please. Otherwise, I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.